everybody! Today we are going to be doing the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, because that is a so original, yes? But mainly because I really do love the Spyro franchise. I, I really love the Spyro games on the PlayStation 1, Spyro, Ripto's Rage, Year of the Dragon. Haven't played the non-Insomniac platformer ones in a long time, like... Uh, Dragon's Tale, and Year of the Dragonfly. And I have them, but I need to play them. And, uh, if it weren't for life and stuff, I would have done a whole Spyro marathon of streams and recordings till I got to the Reignited Trilogy, but... Uh, well... Life. And so, it is out. I didn't, I didn't even get to... I didn't even finish, uh, Year of the Dragon. Didn't even start it, because I'm a failure. But, I figured, I have it, I want to experience it, because it is fun and grand, and it looks so good from what I've seen. So, let's jump right in to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. I especially love it because they got the same guy who did the music, Copeland, from the uh, ex-drummer of the police band. Band called the police, not a band made up of police. And of course I got Tom Kinney to reprise his role. I just realized it has been forever since I've seen the Activision logo. Haven't really missed it, to be honest. Corporate evils. And that is a very nice Toys for Bob logo intro. Good for you. Love that. Love it. It's happy. It brings nice warm feelings. A loading bar. Also, I just gotta say, I love this, like, wallpaper loading screen, because it shows all the games, and it just, it just looks so good. Props to the anime, like, to the people who did the art and... Not 100%, like... Uh, it, it feels like more like a updated remix than a remaster to the music, and I'll accept that. I'll accept that 100% because it still sounds good. Sounds nice. So let's go ahead, press that X. <laughs> what is with games today with the accepting licensing agreements in the game now? You'd think that that would be obvious, like, uh, by playing the game, I consent to things, but, mm, I guess not. <laughs> okay, um, let's go just up, 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 all the way down. Because they want to make sure you absorb that information. <laughs> Spyro 1. I really like the little renders down there. Though, I do have to say that, uh, for some reason, they this one looks a bit different from the other two. And I can't quite place why. But let's go ahead, jump on in, Spyro the Dragon 1 of the Reignited Trilogy. But first, I'm gonna look at the... I really like the logos, because they really do look like the original logos, just a, a little bit updated. Hell, for all I know, they could just literally be the original logos, just... Literally spruced up a bit. It's like, ah, we're just gonna make sure it's high res and everything. So let's go ahead. Ah, oh, just the little, little, the running Spyro. So good. In the world of the dragons. Love the way that they're doing the, the text so far. Really reminiscent of the original, just with shading. <laughs> That's basically it. I don't want to hit any buttons. Yeah, good. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is Looks it so good. What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. 
Decent Ganasty Gnork. But I kind of miss the higher pitched way of his voice, like Simple Looks like I've got that does it! It's like I kind of miss that intonation of his voice. So far that's a, a really good update to the original. I just love the designs, love the way as I that really does kind of feel how it was a <gasps> I love it. It just looks so good. It just looks so good. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. What do you have to say? Hi, Spyro. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. And it's yeah, you can control it with the uh, the analogs. There's a door. When was there a door? Has there always been a door? I don't know. Oh, just the little touches, the effects. Oh. The gems. Oh, this is just me, just loving. Oh, I love it. Get back here. So good. I know some people don't like the uh, redesigns of the the Norks. I don't mind at all. The Norks look look really good. Maybe not like what I was imagining overall, but they're good. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide, and and don't be afraid. Afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. Oh, I just love the animation. It it honestly kind of feels like those are taken out of an animated TV series. The animation is that good. So, definite props to the animated props to everyone so far. So far, while we aren't supremely into it, I'm going to increase the volume because I want to absorb all of this. I love it. Because while we, just in this first few minutes, I'll estimate five minutes of gameplay. My god, this is beautiful. It is amazing. I love it. The animation. Let's get a good look at Spyro. Oh, he's just so good. I love it. The way it looks, the way it feels, the way it plays. So far, it really does, it honestly kind of plays better. To Spyro 1 from uh, what I remember. Because Spyro 1 was a little janky in its movement. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch you! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... <laughs> His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. It's so good! Hey, even these got a makeover. They actually look like they're somewhat important. But uh, as per usable, usable, as per usual, I'm just going to run about gathering up all the gems in the overworld because that's how I roll. Okay, the, the gliding. That, 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 that was weird gliding. Ah, we don't kill them anymore, but I demand blood. Hmm. Eh. The gliding's gonna take a bit getting used to. Whoop. It does feel a bit different, the gliding. And honestly, I don't mind that. So long as it doesn't interfere with the gameplay, it's just, okay, I just need to uh, work on actually learning it, getting used to it, because it, honestly, so far, I love it. I honestly don't know how I made that. This is supposed to be a really easy.
Hmm. Yep. Hmm. I think my timing is off. Maybe they actually expect you to. Hop. Oh. Huh. I'm good. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get it. Because again. There we go. So yeah, that makes me a little wary as to the platforming, but not too much. Because I like the feel of it, and it's like, okay, is it the game or is it me? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm gonna save you until I actually save enough dragons so I get that special bonus dialogue. Hmm. We're gonna go back down here so we can get the chests on top of the thing. I love it, it feels so good. And I think even the charging is gonna feel super awesome. Because I did have some issues with the charging in the previous game. Oh, I love it. I just, I just love it. My god. It's so good. You see, this is why I limited how much I saw of the Reignited Trilogy. I wanted to be as surprised and first impression-y as possible to all of this because it looks so good. It feels good. Please, by god. I hope that there are going to be future like Spyro games because of this. Though that does bring it in the question how, what kind of Spyro games will they be? Will they be like this? Will they be new? Like, what are we asking for here? And honestly, I just love the aesthetic of Spyro. Give me a badass platforming dragon whose name is Spyro in a fantastical, mystical world. That is primarily what I want, and I'm missing gems. Oh no. But that's primarily what I want out of a Spyro game. Just platforming, dragons, fantasy, and epic beautifulness. Because, I mean, I even like the, uh, that there, uh, Spyro, Legend of Spyro the Dragon, or as I call it, the, uh, Elijah Wood trilogy. My only fear is that maybe the, uh, well, my only fear, one of the fears that come to mind right now is that the extra beautification of the game may get in the way of uh, visual clarity, but we'll just have to see. Let's jump into the first level, Stone Hill. I just love it. I like that updated sound effect for the for the gyms. You can make him flap his wings. I love it. I like it. I really like it. Ha ha ha, Kazarad. But there's there are new Spyro games being made. It's called Skylanders. No, no, no. It stopped being a Spyro game when his name was no longer for top billing. When it was. Spyro Skylanders, you can make that argument. Not anymore. You fool! You utter horrific man! You monster! It looks so good! It just looks so good! I like the look of it. Like, even if it's not like one to one, like, eh, this is Spyro! Like, I don't, it, it's a remaster, remake, it's meant, it's, there's going to be differences. And I don't mind that, because it looks so good! I'm honestly more glad that we're bringing Spyro back to his roots, because really, even if, like, uh, people are like, ah, oh, but they're Skylanders, like, it's not really Spyro. It's not the Spyro gameplay, it's not Spyro world, it, it's just not... It's just not. It's completely different. That's like saying that Mario Party is a quote-unquote Mario game. Or saying that Paper Mario is like, uh, Super Mario RPG. It's like, there are similarities, but calling it one-to-one -one is just a huge insult. Because you can't. You can't. Hey, Gildas. Oh, I get it. It's... I get it now. It's because artisans. The glide, press the jump button at the top <laughs> I get of it now. And try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. 
But I finally get why the so many of them have like like that dude had his big old brush stick, and the other one had a uh, a canvas. It's the artisan world. I get it now. You know they never. Let's get this man, egg thief. Get back here. Uh, you're actually really fast. In the original, I think you were slightly faster than them, but... Take that! Oh! Goodbye! Egg is mine. I'm not sure if I like that, because I'm pretty sure in the original, when you get a egg, it literally goes from the world into the UI. It's been a while since I've played the original Spyro, aka a few months, so I could be wrong, but I distinctly remember that. If not, my bad, my memory blur. But if so, eh, nothing terrible, just I really did like that slight touch from the original game. But oh my god, I like it! Wow, his jump arc is almost so tall it feels like I should be getting on top of here. I, that's definitely not in the original game. Kazrad asks, how would you feel if they announced Spyro as a Smash DLC character? I would love it! I would absolutely love it. New main up there with Ganondorf, Bowser Jr., and so many others. Spyro... Spyro, for some reason, is like... You know how people have, like, spirit animals? Spyro, to me, is like a spirit video game character. I've always felt a connection to Spyro. Just the aesthetic, the feel. It's, just, it's all so good! I love it. I just love it so much. I would love to see... Spyro the Dragon in in Smash. Like some people would say, like, ah, but what about Crash Bandicoot? It's like Crash is good, but Spyro is better, in my opinion. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> he actually turns around. I like that. But overall, I, I just really hope that this... Because I'm a bit torn, because the there is one downside to uh, the Spyro. Oh, let's, it looks so good! It looks super metal-y. And it sounds metal-y too! I like it. But there is one downside to uh, Spyro here, and that's... The Activision was kind of dickish with the physical release in that with the physical release, the you only get the first game on the disc and you have to download everything else. Like, yeah, I understand uh, things be expensive and stuff, but come on. Especially considering... Oh, hey, Gavin, where's the, how's the Chima Hunter? You definitely don't let it look anything like Gavin. His color indicates his power. When he eats he has a mustache. He stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. The spiral looks so cute. But like, as I was saying, like on the PlayStation 4 at least, you get the first game without having to download anything. But on the uh, <laughs> the Xbox One version, apparently not even the first game is on the disc. That is horrendously bad. But I just love Spyro too much. And that's where we kind of get into a catch-22. I'll continue after this. Hey, Lindar. How you doing? When you free a dragon, hey, look! Step on the laser redesign look good! Progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. I love, I love everything. Oh, I love. 